Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be talking about main battle tanks, how to use them effectively, how to win tank duels, how much damage the weapons do, and just basically how you should outfit this tank to deal with the situations you're going to run into. Main battle tanks have a lot of threats that they need to worry about. Infantry, for one, any engineer can throw down mines on the road and kill you easily, especially if they cluster those mines. C4, uh, recon, and support can sneak up behind you with packs of C4, deal some damage to you. Of course, there's other main battle tanks. There's rocket launchers of all kinds, lock on, dumb fire. And then there's um, attack helicopters, scout helicopters, infantry fighting vehicles. Basically, there's a lot of stuff on this map that can kill you, and you're a big target. It's very hard to uh, sneak around with the main battle tank. Everything you shoot pings you on the radar, so people are going to know that you're coming. One of the biggest things you have to worry about as a tank driver is other tanks. If there's a main battle tank on the field, your opponent, chances are your opponents have one, unless you're playing a rush map that has armor for only one side, then you don't have to worry about it. But chances are you're going to be playing some conquest and you're going to need to worry about tank dueling. Tank dueling might look visually simple. You know, you have one tank peeking out from behind cover, taking a shot at the other one. Or maybe you see two tanks in the middle of a field just kind of slugging it out until one of them explodes. Well, if you're a good tank driver, you can actually absorb a lot more damage if you expose uh, the right angles of your armor to your opponent. Now the front of the tank takes the least amount of damage from explosives or other projectiles. So generally speaking, you want to face front forward, but you don't want to face front perfectly forward. Now straight shots deal the most damage for main battle tanks. And this is when the armor of your opponent is facing a perpendicular angle. So if you're directly behind your opponent and they're showing you a rear shot and you hit a direct rear shot, you can deal massive damage. In fact, you can deal over 50% damage with a rear shot with any of the uh, projectile weapons that the tank can equip. And getting that straight shot is a very important aspect of tank dueling. In fact, if you find yourself sneaking up behind another tank, it doesn't know where you are, but you don't have that perfect straight on rear shot, you might want to wait a second until you can get into position to take that perfect shot, because not only will you uh, essentially get a critical hit on your opponent, uh, disabling their mobility and stuff like that, but uh, it will basically set you up for a two-shot kill that you can surprise your opponent with. And this is a very easy way to take down armor without absorbing a lot of damage in return. There's three different types of primary weapons for the main battle tanks. The one you start out with is the AP round. This has the largest splash damage and can one-shot infantry with the splash damage alone. It also does decent damage to tanks. Its bullet velocity or its shell velocity is 200 meters per second which kind of puts it average compared to the other two rounds. Then we have the Sabo round, which flies a lot faster at 265 meters per second, making it one of the easiest rounds to hit long range targets and aerial targets that are on the move. This is actually personally one of my favorite rounds. I'm not saying it's the best round out there, but it's definitely very easy to use. And on big wide open maps where you have to hit lots of long range shots, it's very effective. It's also got the same reload speed as the AP round. Um, and it does decent damage to armor. Not quite as much as the HE round though. Per shot, the HE round does the most. Uh, it has the smallest splash damage. It definitely can't one shot an infantry with the splash radius, which is unfortunate, but against armored vehicles, armored targets, it will absolutely decimate them. It is, however, the slowest traveling projectile flying at 150 meters per second. This means for long range shots, not only are you gonna have to lead a lot more, but you're gonna have to aim a lot higher than your target. It also reloads a little bit slower than the Sabo round and the AP round. So uh, you basically have to make good use of cover with these rounds and uh, just take cover in between your shots so that your opponent, if they're using a faster firing round, doesn't get the advantage on you. I would highly recommend using HE rounds if you know you're going to be playing a armor intensive map that has lots of short range engagements. If you know you're going to be doing a lot of tank sniping, a lot of long range engagements, then I would say go for the Sabo round. And if you want to mix it up, do a bit of anti-personnel, a bit of 
anti-armor, then go with the AP round. Fortunately, the tank actually has several options to deal with infantry, aside from your secondary gunner, which is a huge part of tanking. Having somebody on comms that you can talk to, have them watch your back, get out and repair you in the middle of tank fights is critical, and that's a whole nother level of teamwork, and in fact will probably double the effectiveness of your tank if you have a dedicated gunner and repairer for you. But as a secondary weapon for the driver, assuming you don't have good teamwork going on or perhaps there's just a random person in your gunner seat and they're not necessarily backing you up quite as well as you would like them to, you can actually deal with infantry on your own should you choose to equip a good anti-personnel weapon. There's the HMG and the light MG, which are um, actually very good for dealing with infantry. As you can see here, I'm using a lot of the HMG. This is one of my favorites because not only will it take out infantry far away, but it can deal with lightly armored targets. So if you perhaps miss your first shot with your tank round, you can switch to your secondary and put a few rounds in with the HMG. Now, if you do have that excellent teamwork and you got a gunner that you know you can rely on for dealing with infantry and you want to outfit your tank to deal with purely other armor engagements, then you might want to equip the staff shell as your secondary. Um, it's a round that will auto target uh, other tanks out there and you can alternate between your primary and secondary and just dish out massive amounts of damage to armor. Personally, uh, for somebody who likes to run versatility and um, not rely too much on a secondary gunner, I like to have that HMG, like I said before, and then just run with a Sabo round. I feel this gives me a good bit of versatility in how I play, and it also allows me to snipe a lot of air vehicles and just have a bit of fun being a tank that can deal with pretty much anything I run into on the battlefield. Now using your countermeasures properly is a huge part to winning tank battles and essentially surviving infantry ambushes. Uh, the popular one from Battlefield 3 was just IR smoke. You pop out some IR smoke when you get locked onto and it breaks missile locks and stuff like that and prevents you from getting javelin to death. You have that in Battlefield 4 which is definitely good but I found that active protection is just such a good countermeasure right now. It protects not only against other tank duels, uh, but it'll protect against dumb fire weapons. So an RPG, uh, your average tank round, once you activate active protection and stays active for five seconds with a 25 second cooldown, it will block any incoming explosive rounds in that five second period. So you can actually stop a huge amount of damage. The only issue with active protection is that it is a preemptive counter countermeasure versus a reactionary countermeasure. IR smoke you pop off once you hear that lock on sound and it should deal with the missile that's incoming. With active protection you essentially have to pop it off uh, knowing how long either a missile is going to take to get to you or you have to anticipate say getting shot by a tank in the near future. So you have a five second window of when it's active and it does require a little bit more skill than the other ones but once you get it down, once you learn how to use it properly you can absorb a massive amount of damage and get out of sticky situations. Now as far as tank upgrades go, I highly recommend using reactive armor. It's not quite as good as it was in Battlefield 3. In Battlefield 3 you actually had four segments of armor that would go on, on each side of your tank and they would absorb one shot. So if you rotated your tank around during a tank battle, you could essentially absorb one shot on each point of armor before taking any damage to your actual tank. In Battlefield 4, reactive armor increases the amount of damage that you can take before you get a critical hit. Now critical hits impair your mobility. There's light critical hits and heavy critical hits. And if you're running the reactive armor, um, you're actually going to be able to absorb a massive amount of damage before you get that main mobility hit that pretty much stops, stops you in your tracks. And this is a very important thing to survive tank duels. If you stop moving in a tank duel, you're kind of screwed if your opponent still has mobility on you. So it's a very important thing for also escaping situations. Now if you guys want to actually know a lot of the damage stats and armor stats and upgrades and all that stuff, I'm going to link the simthick.com website in the video description that takes you to the tank section of the website and will give you all that information. There's a lot more when it comes down to tank dueling, especially the teamwork part of it. There's a lot of really cool tricks you can pull off and I hope to cover that in a future video. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.